We are working for integration of the true nature of a human being. And integration means stepping and having courage. Now, in this Western world here, uh, you have uh, a lot of maybe conflict, but you don't have what is called the Great War. You know, there have been wars like First World War. You don't have that uh, a lot of Second World War, that a lot of nations are involved. There are numbers of wars, yes, out there, but in this area of life, you are not engaged in that. But indeed, you, it's good for you to apply the expansion because there is a war going on and it's an internal war. And people are warring with themselves. And they are warring then with others because they don't recognize that they are a, a war inside of themselves. And being a war inside of themselves, it means that you are in dissonance with different aspects of yourself. So part of the work that you have as a spiritual, naturally born being, everybody is spiritual, nobody is non-spiritual, is to begin to reconcile the war infection inside of yourself to begin to find ways to make space to include, to understand. When you begin to understand the war infection inside of yourself, of course you also uh, bless them, you also include them. You don't send any part away from yourself because that will come back as a boomerang, back to you energetically, so you don't do that. But the war inside means that you have to make peace treaty ongoingly, sometimes daily, with what you don't like in yourself. And we have to say that when you don't like something in somebody else, or somehow you have a strong dissonance or a small dissonance, look that there is a war inside in yourself, that is a war that you haven't noticed. And if you haven't noticed that war inside in yourself, you are bound to go out there in the so-called streets of life and experience a, a dissonance such that you are going to become very argumentative or somebody's coming to you being very argumentative and you wonder, I was so peaceful. Well, mm -hmm. probably if you look carefully, you weren't that peaceful. And mm -hmm. if you look carefully, you actually l continuously emanate a kind of dissonance that is naturally picked up. Everybody's a receiver, everybody's a transmitter, whatever they're aware or not, or others. But are you positioning yourself in the correct stations with yourself? Or are you always positioning yourself in this ongoing polarity which is insoluble at a certain level because you will be with the coloring of the yin and yang, the black and white, so on and so forth. So you need to be um, skillful there to be able to extract element of kindness towards yourself, inclusion, first of all patting yourself on your shoulder, making sure every morning that you accept yourself exactly as you are for what you have done. But also that you begin to consider that sometimes you did things unskillfully. And so that requires correction. That requires changing. That requires that maybe your style needs to be modified. And that is your responsibility. That is why you are free. You are not free at other levels. We will go into this another time. But you are free to modify attitude and tendency of that war inside that we say you have inside, where you are becoming very uh, ambiguous to yourself. And then signs of life are, are indicating a little danger here, a little danger there, because the ambiguity of how you present yourself, meaning that what is going inside is very different from what is appearing to be your personality. Your work is to integrate all your beauty, all your soul level, all your greatness, which you are, each one of you in your unique way, into your personality, into your presence, in all the levels of who you are. So it's important not to hide to yourself. Of course you begin with you, you don't take risk if you don't are not skillful with yourself to know how to work with yourself. Of course you be gentle and you begin. But you remember it comes back to you to reflect, to ponder and to begin to shift some 
of your own unique trajectory where often you find that the disagreement out there or how people live their life, how they respond to you, how wars are taking place, war begin within. The outer wars that you are witnesses are the manifestation of the profound dissonance that the human nature has is been able and is allowed to manifest. So from profound dissonance into profound resonance and attunement. That is beautiful. And some of you are already doing that. Some of you are already very skilled in understanding the shifting of the wavelengths. They do understand that those times are times of great opportunity, where especially it's not just about you. Isn't that beautiful? It's about all, all in one, everyone, everybody. And because it's like that, then you're always part of a project. You're always part of a larger project. There is no question about it. So sometimes people say, we don't know what is the, the purpose of my incarnation or my life. Your purpose is to become whole with the rest of humanity so that you are making the whole human family evolve and you simply play your part. So that's the, the main... Uh, meaning of you being here. You came here and it wasn't just for you, your individuality. It was for the human family to experience wholeness, which means also holiness, which is also means your greatness, your beauty, the highest. And then, and then more and more and more. So we stop here and then with this we begin with our question.